Good morning. It is a rainy day in Phoenix. Is it still morning or is it afternoon? No, I can't tell. But it's a rainy day in Phoenix. It's supposed to rain all day. It's supposed to be a parade of lights today or tonight at 7. But if it rains all day, I don't know if they're going to cancel it or not. I'm not going because crowds and parking situation. Uh, when you are, do plan to go, just not this year. I'm also uh, battling them very early symptoms of a head cold. Just sneezing, and especially at night. A little runny nose every now and then during the day. But otherwise, I pretty much feel fine. Maybe a little head, you know, congestion. But I feel rather fine. Um, but it's perfect for hoodie weather, this rain. So I will uh, have some errands to run anyway. It's just grocery shopping, really. So that's fine. So my face has been uh, moisturized, as you see. They put sunscreen on still because in Phoenix... Sometimes the sun comes back out, then it rains again. So I got the sunscreen on, and now I'm just going to prime. I'm trying to do just light makeup today because, again, uh, hoodie weather, rain, and uh, also being sick. Well, mildly sick. And it's like, why do you make up if you're mildly sick? Uh, just, I don't know, just a little bit. And I know people have had obligations while sick and couldn't look like crap. So I'm going to try that out. And everything I'm using, I'm trying to use stuff that I'm not double dipping in. Or stuff that I'm going to sanitize right after this video. Anyway, so. Um, certain things are harder to sanitize, but I've poured out or using other things to keep that from happening from contamination. Like I said, sanitizing afterwards. So with that, uh, by the way, that was, uh, Smashbox. Uh, I don't have my, I got new contacts, sample contacts, so I can't see. Well, even if I didn't. Uh, the usual mattifying controlling primer, the one that I use. I always put description, so you'll see it. And I'm just trying to, because I'm combo skin. Uh, combo skin more oily during the summer. And I looked at some other photos the other day. I'm like, yeah, summer seems to be when it's the worst of oiliness. These eyebrows, get rid of shyness and these eyelids because I have oily eyelids. And I have Vaseline on my lips just for keeping from being chapped. And once I get to that congestion phase of where I'm breathing in my mouth all day. Uh, so, okay, with that, I'm going to do some underpainting. Haven't done that in a while. But I have a sample of a foundation that I is best for that. So what I'm going to do, my hands have been washed. I'm trying to think how to do this best. I'm going to put it on this sponge. And it's uh, Rare Beauty in Faith, the soft pinch. It a little goes a long way. So I'm just putting a little on the little sponge. And because I'm underpinning, I'm just going to go ahead and put some on there. And when you're underpaid, you can kind of go crazy. I'm using it as a uh, as, uh, eyeshadow as well. So, like I said, underpainting, I can kind of go a little crazy. Like I said, I'm trying to do minimal project, uh, products. Just a healthy glow kind of loziness. And I'm just underpainting because I, I like using this blush. A little goes a long way. Let me just do a little bit more because again I'm gonna put it on the other side so again not cross contaminating anything. And this lasts a long time too. So right now it looks a little crazy, but 
well, even it out once we uh, put foundation on top. And I guess there's a cold weather makeup thing. You put a little on your nose. Since I have a cold, so it's fine. I'm also uh, going to work on, because I do plan to wear a mask, so I'm going to mask, work on mask proofing as well. So I'll make perfect time to do setting spray. Oh, nighter. I ran out of my NYX matte. Um, I need to get some more. Um, but I also kind of want a healthy glow. So, all lighter. And as y'all know, I love my towel. And then we are using a sample that I have of Rare Beauty. I think it's 54N. Um, so, I'm using this brush. I've got this brush. Uh, which brush is this? Uh, from a makeup uh, tutorial that was done on me earlier this year. And I haven't found a real use for this, really. I know maybe it's concealer. I don't know what it is. But I like it because it's a little flat like that. So just put a little on there. And then, should be enough, sponge. I'm sure it covers up some of that underpainting. You can still see some of the red or the pink. I didn't do my ear on this side. I said, made notes earlier this summer for mask proof makeup. But then, because everything was kind of opened up, certain places, well, I go a lot of places kind of outside or I distance myself. Well, I wasn't wearing makeup. So, wearing a mask would have been fine. Not really figuring out how to mask proof your makeup. Which, of course, I don't have a mask in the house because I was going to spray the inside with a spray. But look how nice that is. I still got my healthy skin care underneath. So I was thinking of a uh, tip moisturizer for winter as well. So, um, so maybe. Okay, yeah, looks good. Because, um, as I think I've always said, it's just me trying to even out my skin tone. It's my main method of, or main reasoning for makeup and just finally learning how to do it. I'll probably do like an end of a year video because I am going to a wedding um, towards the end of the year. So we'll probably do a video that day, but maybe a recap of my favorites. Okay, so that's that. Let's do some concealer. So I will just figure out a way to sanitize. I think that's the first time I've done a thin nose. And I'm not going out of my nose because if I am blowing my nose, it's pointless. Of course, I probably must have got the nose I was looking so hard for all this time. So I'm going to put that right there. I'm going to put the lid on it so I can figure out how I'm sanitizing it. And then contour. I'm doing... Uh, that was uh, NYX HD and Anastasia Beverly Hills. So the NYX is 7.5 Deep Golden. 
a golden and uh Anastasia Beverly Hills 19. I'm using Fenty Matchstick and Espresso. This will be easy to sanitize. It's gonna warm it up a little first. And then I usually forget to do my three. Mm -hmm. And I was like, oh, simple video. Simple look would have been just blush, and as you see, that's not happening. Take that. Wipe off my hand. And then spray. Let me put the lid on this sample. Because they give me a lot on this sample, so I definitely want to, didn't want to, so I get it contaminated so I can use it again later this week uh, if I'm feeling up to uh, going to something that's going on. So let's do the forehead first. And again, I'm washing, uh, sanitizing these brushes afterwards. So I'm not going anywhere tomorrow. Cause the cowboy game is later. So I'm not trying to leave the house. And I'll watch it at home. Let's kind of thin this out, blend, blend, blend. It's supposed to this event that a uh, Instagram friend of mine uh, is having today. I'm just realizing I don't know if that event's getting veined out. But she does this really good popcorn chicken, and it's called Herculean Her Herculean Chicken. I'm probably saying it wrong. I can tag them. I'll tag her. But it's really good popcorn chicken. It's like amazing. And I shouldn't really. I don't want to say I shouldn't advertise, but. She hits a long line, so you gotta get there early. So usually if it's like a, an event where I know there's gonna be a crowd or I can't get there early enough, unfortunately I don't get to go and support her because it's the lines be very, very long. And uh, some of those events, I was like, I, I can't do the crowd for that long. I'm always supporting her. So it was fun most of the week. Thought I did have a friend come over to change my shower head. Um, since I moved, I had a different shower head in my last apartment too. And he changed it, so I had him Come by during a week to do that. And I talked to him today. He said he's fine. So I was like, okay. But I'm like, I, I know I remember you coughing maybe once. And we both took COVID tests before he came over. So. But he said he's perfectly fine. He feels great. I'm like, that's great. But I have a cold. I had cold. Like I said, I don't feel terrible. I just, it's mostly at night, it seems to be. Okay, so now what I'm going to do is going to finally use this to uh, put down my contour. Should have sprayed again. And I've decided I used to put it here and there. I'm gonna kind of probably stop putting it there because I had one video that was it's just so cakey looking afterwards.
but that is a really nice foundation and the look turned out looking great but i couldn't get past that because when i see the photos that's all i see i didn't post that video because that's um so i'm going up this way because of that so i'm gonna try that foundation again because it's a lovely foundation It deserves to be highlighted or for me to actually wear it and feel proud to wear it and enjoy wearing it. This is me worrying about the cakiness the whole time. Okay, let's check the blends. I'm trying not to mess up my eyebrows. When the uh, Concealer into the contour. Look better right there. I just have to shine right there. Skincare today. It's, uh, I use the uh, Afterglow Vitamin C Afterglow by Sunday Riley. I really like that. I've been using samples because it's kind of expensive. So unless I get like a gift card for Christmas or something for that Afterglow, which is, like I said, awesome. <laughs> And then a friend of mine also gave me uh, some Skin Telex, uh vitamin C, but I didn't use that today. I'm still trying to figure out how I feel about it. It definitely works immediately with the shine, like the glow, but I don't like how it, it's hard to smooth around, so. It's good, like, pat around, but not. Okay, let's smooth it on like the afterglow was like an actual moisturizer. And that's not as smooth as it probably could be. Because again, I'm not using that many brushes. Okay. I'm seeing that right there. Because I don't have... I used to... Okay, I'm going to do that. Okay, I was like, I know. I mean... Use the foundation side of the beauty blender. To melt that better. So simple video, but not apparently as short as what we're gonna do. Because later on, I'll be like, to me, it looks like it's not blended. And then I see the video, I'm like, oh, it was fine. Okay, so I'm gonna do that. And then let's put some uh, Laura Mercier setting powder. Put some in the cap, of course. It's uh, translucent. I gotta spray my face after I did all that blending. I realized that now, too, as well. Okay, I'm gonna use the side. Uh, it's the Ulta Beauty, one of my faves. I use little. Pink and uh, orange, a little bit of the deep one. And it's just enough where I don't have to go back in there at all. So 
She loves a nice mixture, yeah. Then I'm going to use this part to kind of embellish those a little bit so it's not as bold because one side is low. Okay. And then I'm going to spray again. And then do my lips. Nyx Line Loud. And this is uh, Rebel Kind. You don't watch any of these videos or are they? do lips and they put on lipstick and I keep the lips closed and I'm like how and I'll be sanitizing that and then tinted live tinted and found okay let me do the top of this one I'm gonna definitely go to my mental office to ask a question as well. And probably be like, what now, Andrea? Not to show the shade, but I can see the moves. See that? Am I wearing anything I got from Black Friday? I think I am. No. <laughs> That's funny. I'm not. Um, I have one package I'm still waiting on from Black Friday. Uh, what did it? On the Saturday after? Still says in process. I'm like. And you can't get, you get an automated reply. I'm just like, okay, I've never dealt with y'all before. And it's, it's taken a while, at least just, I don't know. It's, okay, because I'm somewhat blind. I'm gonna use the mirror in front of me. This is uh, wet and wild coal uh, brown. I can't see what the color is. I'll put it in the description. Which probably won't even do much here. Let me see some powder. I need to smooth it. There we go. I forgot to have this brush here that I was going to use to smooth in. Anyway. Because this month's uh, makeup prescription has a lot of stuff in it. My subscription. So my, one of them was an eyeliner. A liquid eyeliner. Which I haven't tried using a liquid one since I... Uh, Tried earlier this year and was very unsuccessful with. So I need to try it again with that one. Since I was showing interest in it, kind of not saying it out loud, it's almost like they knew. It's not too crazy. Like I said, it's raining. I can still hear it raining. There we go. 
So now my mascara is definitely waterproof. I'm just trying to keep it under 25. I was going to use 20. I don't even see none of that work. So let me get this towel before. I, you know, uh, medium dip, deep translucent powder. Uh, medium deep with uh, Loma CA. Get my hand. Okay, and I put a lot off, and it's still, it always, it's always a mess. I, I see I keep using it, but I'm like, where is this extra powder coming from? Using this. Extra powder just be coming. It just came from nowhere. I was like, um, you were not anywhere in what I saw. So my nose isn't running, I just, I think it's just, just automatically kind of sniff. And, um, and I'll be sanitized. Uh, and I'll cover those medium deep as well. Okay. Then I'm trying to mask proof. And I realized that was more towards my eye. Let's see. And I definitely put a lot on. A second while it dries. Again, I think it's dripping. I just it's a unconscious thing. And there's an event tonight that luckily I didn't buy tickets for already because um I wouldn't probably want to go if I was feeling under the weather. Like I said, I don't feel horrible right now. It's L'Oreal Lash Paradise and Black Waterproof. Again, I usually just use waterproof because allergies and then cry or laughing hysterically sometimes. I am prepared. Or try to find ones that are long lasting. It's fine as long as the top of my eye doesn't leak. If it really doesn't feel like a cold, it feels like my allergies because I've had um, bad allergies. So I forget what's that in my eye. What's that? Nobody's gonna be that close to me. And then earrings. Okay, this would be my thing I got from Black Friday. Got three pairs of these in different sizes from um, Target. And I think it was for like five dollars. So I've been wearing the smaller ones to work, and so you know I like to wear hoops on the weekend. So with that, this is my Saturday. It's raining outside um, under the weather, but actually feeling okay. So this is my look. I will be. 
putting that on. That's why I'm wearing because I'm wearing matching blue sweats. Uh navy sweats, it just happened to come out that way. Um, so yeah. Have a good Saturday. If it's raining where you are, or if it's cold where you are, it's hoodie weather. It's your hoodie. And enjoy the rest of your day.